your throat and lick your blood until you are vacant. You will then be alive, but under my complete control. Uh, that's not However, do that. You would find it difficult to think clearly, and it would take you a long time to heal. You would be very vulnerable to attack from the monsters of the night. Uh, so it's like having permanent low I blood sugar. I want you to die just yet. I will restrain myself from caressing your very handsome throat with my teeth. For now, anyway. Well, maybe once we've gotten to know each other better. This, If this is our first date, like, for real, date date, it's alright. Alright, well, I guess I have no choice unless I want to be like some sort of slobbering slave, as I am now. Okay. You tell Katrina that you'll do anything, anything at all, <laughs> if she'll just let you go and not rip your throat out. Very well. But because I can never completely trust you, I will make certain you carry out my bidding. Oh, goody. More whipping. Nope, that's... Ow! By my will, I guess thee. I don't have gears. Thou shalt seek the heart ritual of the Dark One. Thou shalt seek the blood ritual of the Dark One. Well, I'm gonna sing too. Thou shalt seek, seek the, the breath ritual, ritual of, of the Dark One. one. Got more? Thou I shalt seek the bone ritual of the dark one. Thou shalt seek the sense ritual of the dark one. That's a great song. Return with these rituals ere three nights pass. Bless ye supper. Thanks, Pirate McGee. Your gears. I don't have gears. I had. I didn't have drink beans or anything. I took my bicarbonate. I would not want you to suffer after all. <laughs> so, I, I I can't tell if she actually does like me or- Ow! Will you stop hitting me in the face with those glowy balls? Okay, I got three nights to find these other rituals, but I think I actually have a couple. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Hi guys! My name is Sneaky V. I got lips and a gigantic teeth. Hello everybody, we're back. We've been cursed. <laughs> yep. Okay, so now we've been- Charged by Katrina to find the however remaining uh, uh, rituals, that's the word, before, I think, about three days to do it, or maybe one day, I don't even remember. Uh, but, fortunately, I remember where most of them are. If we remember back when we went to the, what was it, the cathedral? Not the cathedral, the monastery, that's the word. We read the words of the Mad Monk. Mm-hmm. And the Mad Monk kind of gave us hints on where to find all these rituals. And I remember that the Gypsy also gave us a hint that said, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. First, the Mad Monk gave us a hint, said one was given to a dude named Gregor for safekeeping. And oh, hi, Necrotor. Okay, I guess we're doing this live. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. I don't think I have too much to worry about. There we go. Knives all up in your face, all up in your face. Necrotor going down, magic. Yeah. It's probably better use up your magic than- oh, there he goes. Magic than your stamina at this point, though Sneaky Pete's not really listening to me, and there he goes. Because we have to make our stamina last all night, as a good hero does. Alright, so there's three we need to find, and I, I know where two of them are. It's just a matter of finding them, so thank god for the skip -a matic as this goes down. There's one more Wraith Bro left, and that was that super powerful one that kept kicking our ass so hardcore. And he's got it. But now that we have that spell that will protect us, we should be fine. There it. it is. Okay, alright, alright. So there's the Wraith that has the last... Well, not the last one, but... The... Whatever ritual it is. I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But I do know that we need to cast this aura spell about us. That's this one. You come. And as long as I'm at it, I'm gonna cast you the cast. spell of protection and then switch to full tilt boogie run and kick its ass. You feel Yay, I'm not losing health though, as fast anyway. Can we can you can we please can we please thank you? That's gonna cost me so dearly. Oh wait. I don't lose health here, but I lost health outside of the battle? Go figure that one out, but whatever. Doesn't matter, this Wraith is so t Sneaky feet, sneaky. Ow, you took that one right in the face. Come on, you were doing so well. Use your magic firebolt, firebolt, firebolt. Two magic, two magic, two magic. Go, go. Sneaky, if you blow this now, I'm going to be mad at you. One more. You just hit him with another firebolt. 
do it. One more will do it. Come on. Did you miss? I think there you go. And a completely unnecessary buzzsaw. Vanishes into nothingness. Ugh. And the air slowly begins to regain some warmth. God, it got so stressful. All right. Well, let's get our prize. The barrow contains treasure that the wraith collected while it was alive. You find a hoard of 150 gold crowns. Jesus. And a scroll with mysterious letters. Wow. That seem to writhe and shift under your gaze. That must be it. At the top is a stylized heart symbol. A few drops of ink under it remind you of dried blood. All right. Excellent. Now, apparently, if you're also a, a fighter, you get an awesome battle axe out of this, too. But there we go. What? What? Wait. Iron hammer? Oh, oh, that was from this. Okay, it's like, wait a second. That looks like a really crappy weapon. But all right. So there we go. We got another one. Let's get some rest here. I wish I had a heal spell. That would make this game so much easier. After all right. Some... And I think I know where to get another one as well. Let me just make sure I have everything I need. Let me see. I have... Yeah, I have 14 empty flasks. I think, I think we'll be fine. Actually, I'm going to... Your I don't need any more. All right. Now, the other one said that the other one will be revealed under the light of a soul of a dead child, which sounds... Okay, no thanks. Which sounds really dark, but it makes sense in context, and I'll show you, because if you guys remember your mythology, we remember seeing some will-o'-wisps or will-o'-the-wisps. Oh, hi, Revenant. Hello. I love the Revenant music. Listen to that. Why do they get their own special music? Ooh, I like that slide move. You're gonna come attack me. Do it in style, man. That was great. All right, anyway. Um, but here's some Will-O-Wisps. And if you remember your mythology, that in some cultures anyway, Wisps are considered to be the lost souls of dead children. So, yeah, that's it. So we need to get these souls of dead children, and then that will reveal something, and I think I know where to do it. Because there's been this mysterious statue that's been looming over us this entire time, and I've had no idea what to do with it. So we need to lure them over. And, of course, you know, kids love candy. Um, yeah. That didn't do anything. You carefully place some of the candy on the ground. All right, that should bring him over. Eh, come on over, kiddos. Nom, 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 And mine. I have caught a fairy. You capture a few of the will-o'-wisps in a flask. And boy, are they unhappy about it. Now, here's where things get really creepy, is if you walk around for too long, because the wisps disappear in the daytime, if you walk around for too long and forget to release them, then they die. Like, you have killed the souls of dead, innocent children. Don't you feel great about yourself? Okay. Now, this is it. I think. Because remember, we saw this squid stone a bunch. We can't we don't know how to interact with it, but we know it's magical. This is where the light of the dead souls of children come in. I can't believe I said that. There it is. When you bring the Will-O-Wisp near the standing stone, glowing runes appear around a six-pointed image. In the center of the runes, you can now see a small hole in the stone. Bingo. And we know what that means, the only dial-like activity that we can do. When you touch the Dark One sign to its image on the squid stone, the sign locks into place in the small hole. The points of the sign seem to point to six of the glowing runes. All right, now this one's not so hard because the answer was laid out for us in the monastery. And we spell out the name of the Dark One, which we know down there was Avuzel. Which is weird, but this puzzle's kind of bugged, so let's see if it works the first time. You just literally click on the letters. A, V, O, uh, O, Z, L. No, it's not bugged. As you complete the name of the Dark One, you feel a distant rumble under the earth, as of the earth shifting. Or some unimaginably huge creature stirring in its sleep. My God, John. 
Part of the squid stone opens to reveal a small compartment. You reach in to find a scroll covered with mysterious runes. The symbol of the senses at the top is the only path that you can make out. You also retrieve the Dark One sign, which pulls loose from the stone with a slurping, sucking sensation. Ugh. The hole in the stone closes as you remove the sign. All right, John had fun with that line, but hey, that means we got ourselves, I think the second to last, I think we have to have five of them, yeah, five senses, and I think the other one's, I don't know what the other one is, whatever. Let's see if we can set these guys loose here. Nothing. That didn't. The will-o'-wisp lights up your life. All right, well, let's go set them free before I do anything else, because I do not want the death of dead soul children on my hands. So here you go, back out into your swamp, little guys. You release the Will-O-Wisps back into the swamp. All right, as long as we're here, I'm going to pick up a little bit more of this Grew Goo, because I think we can give this to Dr. Cranium for stuff. Nothing. There we go. You slow... I'll get two, what the hell. You slowly fill your flask with the greasy, grimy goo. Oh, I love the way he says that. Okay. Now, I don't really know where the other one... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Because remember, when we screwed up with Baba Yaga that one time, she had it. She had it. Okay. So let's head over back to Baba Yaga and let's grab it. I'm not sure what I could trade for it, but I'm sure she'll let me know. Right, Baba Baby? Baby Yaga. Baba Baba. Baby Yaga. Who would name their child Baba Yaga anyway? I wonder what her mom's name was. Baby Yiggy? Haba Haba? Hibi Hubi. Hibi Hubi, the ultimate way. Oh, God. Hi, Necrotor. Okay. I, all, all right. Let's do this. Dagger, dagger in your face. There you go. That's how you do it. Keep him at a distance, sneaky feet. That's how you do it. Little by little. It's a war of attrition, baby. Don't rush. He hasn't even moved from his spot. You're doing great. And done. There you go. That's how you do it. Well done. All right, Baba. Let's do this. Baba, 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 Bibby, Yiggy. Haba, Haba. Hibby, Hibby, Hibby. Rubber ribbies? Ribbit, 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 ribbit vessel. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Baba. There she is. Okay. First things first. Let's get rid of this thing. Uh, the magic phrase and off it goes. Now, I know that the only way to Baba's heart is through food, but I'm not sure what food I have. But I don't think it would hurt us any to take some extra bone meal inside, just in case it can be some sort of bartering agent. Is there any left in there? Yeah, what's new with you? Yeah, whatever. I got business. Nothing in there. All right. There's nothing in the mortar. Ah, what's the mortar with you? You put the bones into the huge mortar. Now what? Well, what do you think? It's a mortar, you fool. You've done this before. You there we go, and... and... My flask is... There we go. Got it. Got it. You fill the flask. Let's see how Bonehead's doing, anyway. It doesn't... How you doing, Bonehead baby Baba, Baba Yaga? Eh, go on in and find out for yourself. All right. Well, works for me. Oh, I should probably not... save... This might be the last we see of Sneaky Feet, if that is the case. Uh, let's see. Bobby Yagfa. There. Perfect. Bobby Yagfa. Typos and all. Let's go into the Chicken Hut. Chicken Hut sounds delicious. I want to call a restaurant called the Chicken Hut. Baba Yaga's Chicken Hut. Baba Yaga speaks out loud. Probably the best way to speak. Cut so true. Glue his shoes. That's not your voice. You find your feet stuck again to the floor. Hey, babe. Oh, back so soon, Cookie Face. <laughs> I hope for your sake you brought us something to eat. After all, there's always room for hero. <laughs> I, I guess there's a pun in there somewhere, but I'm not seeing it. All right. Um, here, well, take this bone meal we just made. That's the closest thing we have to food. Well, I suppose I could use this to whip up some dead bread. It's the accentuation that ruins it. So what do you want for this, Cookie? Stop calling me Cookie. That's weird. Hello there, little Cookie Puss. Let's see. Well, 
Oh, I can also ask for a spell. I know she'll give me the ritual, but let's find out what spell she'll give me. You ask for a magical spell. Yes. Magic. Hmm, let me think. What have I got that won't let you get me? I suppose you want something other than a spell to cause warts. <laughs> warts? You nod your head. That's all I can do. Oh, all right, all right. Here's a spell scroll to teach you the hide spell. Oh, hide. I use it all the time, as you can plainly see. Read the scroll. Awesome. I think as a thief, that would actually be super helpful. We'll check out that in a second. But let's see if she wants any of this grugu as well in exchange for that ritual, because otherwise I have to go back outside and give her some more bone meal. Well, it is true that grugu makes a lovely sauce for ice cream Sundays. <laughs> Okay, you've made that joke like five times before. So what do you want for this, Cookie? I love how, like, I love our relationship now. It's like completely like a barter system. I come bring her food and she gives me stuff. Hero- No, wait, hey, 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 you got that for free, you- Can I help you out? Which way did you come in? God damn it. All right, well, at least let's find out what this hide spell is all about. Let's see. This must be this. Invisibility spell. You have to stand still. I, 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 standing spell is, is really hard for me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Awesome. Oh, tell me that carries over to the next game. Oh, that's gonna be so sweet. Cut. All right, blah, 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 poof. How come when I enter exit uh, oh. invisibility, I don't get that really cool entrance? Here, take your Gru Goo. Well. What do you want for this? So what do you want for this, Cookie? Cookie. <laughs> Best ad lib ever. All right, and the ritual. You asked Baba Yaga about a Dark One ritual. So, you heard about that, huh? It can be used in either one or two ways. You don't qualify it. Still, you want it, you got it. You put the ritual away in your pack. I think we heard her say that before, so I just figure we'll skip right through it. Hero near, out of here. All right, excellent. I think nice of you to drop in. Yeah, well, bye, Bonehead. We've got all the rituals, so we are ready to enter. I think what amounts to be end game. Let's go back to the inn and rest. Oh wait, no, no, no. I should sleep again because I want to see if the gypsies have one last thing to say before I really go past the point of no return, as it were. Oh, well, here's the gypsies. I wonder if I can get a reading at night. They're probably all asleep. Wolves, are you done? Would you please shut up so I can thank you? The gypsies get that. Oh, they are. Hi. Welcome. I know that you have been through much since last we saw you. Is that a third voice? I have tried to read your fortune for you while you were gone. All the cards came up black. Then I had a vision. Oh, really? Tell. It was a dark vision. Of figures, yeah. It me cold and sick, yet I knew the vision was true. Now I will show you my vision and read your future once more in the tarot card. So this is the last reading. And this time, darling, I won't even charge you for it. Thank you, Cookie. The Dark One is not something of which the gypsies speak. It was an ill day when our tribe traveled to this valley. We used to trade freely with the people of the castle years ago. You told us this story already. We did not know how things had changed here. The influence of the Dark One overshadows this valley. We gypsies know better than to get involved with the Dark One. Okay. You know, for mentioning the Dark One being really bad luck, you have no problem mentioning the Dark One over and over and over again. To aid you however we can, yet if your actions stir the darkness and unleash it, our tribe will be destroyed. Still, you are an agent of destiny, and we will serve you as you serve it. I'm an agent of chaos. The of the oh, God, get on with it! Well, this area, and the cards cannot override this power. Last night, I had a dream. Was it a dark dream? It was a dark dream. Yes. 
Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Hey, if you want to see some more, please hit this little subscribe button up here somewhere in this nebulous area by my head. And if you want to see more Quest for Glory stuff, <gasps> click plushy sneaky feet. And if you'd like to watch some other stuff, please click on little Cedric plushy. Choices, choices, choices.